Hello and welcome to Academy Lane's ICC World Singles Qualifier. I'm Bob Lee and we got, uh, we're going to be showing you the first of five strings. We just finished the, um, the first session and the cut would be at, if it were made today, made right now around 590, but we got about 50, 50 or more bowlers coming up in the second session. John Blaze, John Kafalis, Irby, as he's known, one of, the, one of our, in the Hall of Fame of broadcasting for us, the guys that keep, kept live streaming alive as we lost more and more of the uh, network stations. Blaze for the Four Horsemen, he's in box one, it'll be open. Irby has a good look, has the head pin and the nine, and just right of the head pin, no love on the action. It'll be open. Welcome, if you just joined us, let us know if you're hearing our signal. Blaze takes eight in the first box. Irby with a nine. They're now 2% of the way done with their qualifier. This is the first of five strings. We're going to say here on lanes 29 and 30, Paul Grant is uh, just to our right on lanes 33 and 34 as Blaze punches through on the head pin. And Irby punches through on the three pin. Two and one remain. Six pin in the back. The how about that? Okay. He sent the two pin over, but a little too sharp on that angle. Irby, uh, you should subscribe to his YouTube channel. You want to see some classic matches and had, this, had the uh, triangle in two. What? And he'll be open. Ten pin wouldn't go. Bed post in the triangle, I should say. Hey, Billy. After John and John, we're going to see Justin Waters and Billy Bloom also bowling on these lanes. 17 right now for Blaze, 19 for Irby. He had a 10, made 10 on his second. You can see that up right above the, the bowlers. Blaze right in the pocket. Kingpin remains with a guide, piece of wood behind it. Irby misses by a whisker. Pin bounces back off the right side and takes out the one and two. Looks like live wood in front. Another piece in the back. Blaze now for his first spare. Not a problem. He missed it. A, if he missed it, he missed it a quarter of an inch to the left, which is where the guide was. And that's, that's what, that's what Pro Bowler has to do. A hopper, Irby pounds two through, back to the pit, but the seven remains. Blaze now at 27 of the ball, Irby at 28, and open through three. Welcome if you just joined us, ICC Singles. Qualifier. We're in, we just finished the morning shift. We're going to get our stats from that a little later. But uh, we jumped on here with a good set. John Blaze in the bonus. How about it? 35 through three. Irby finds the head pin. He's full, but he breaks up the left hand side. And not a bad, not a bad leave. Eagle wing right. Three six ten. Couple pieces of wood that should help. John, two in a row. 45 and a ball through four. Well, he's going to sit down after five. Justin Waters and Billy Bloom in the, in the wait. Hey, Irby, his first mark. That was a pretty. The, the wood looked like it uh, stopped things up for a second, and then all the pieces start, started splashing and the 10 pin fell for a spare. 38 and a ball. Play 
Hayes in the bonus. Right to left ball. He threw that one on the right hand side of the three pin. Just four there. That's 49 through four. Irby hold that one over. That's a four fill for him as well. Blaze found the found the one-two pocket, but everything splashed away. Still three remain. Irby open in the fifth as well. All right, have a 57 half for Blaze, who's moved to Rhode Island recently. Trying to get him back into the leagues. He's been subbing in Millis, uh, Union Street a little bit. Kapalis takes eight, and that's a 50 half for John. Billy Bloom, Justin Waters. Justin Waters has what may be currently the highest average in Massachusetts, anyway. And his ACST average at 133 through 20 games. Billy Bloom. Brings in that right to left ball from the right hand side onto the two pin. Still five remaining. Waters, golf pro by trade. Has that backswing of a golfer all the way up and into the three pin, but the four horsemen remain. Watch his form if you want, if you desire a perfect throw. That's what I've heard people say. He has the best form of anyone who's taken it all the way back like that. Right side of the head pin, and it sprays left. Not far from a, from a conversion, but this will be for 10. How about nine? An eight for Billy Bloom. You just joined us, uh, we're in string one of five of the second shift World Singles Ball Five, 105 bowlers entered. Billy Boone drops nine and has a good piece of wood behind the four pin for support on his spare bid. Waters, first ball in the second on lane 29 to your left. He was open in the first and clears out the left hand side. Bloom. Oh, no flip. Ball flips. Ball bounced back out of the pit somehow. Right back in front of the four pin, but no love. Waters is going to face four with his third ball. As the five behind the one pin may not be visible to you. Oh, that's a good nine. 18 after two for Justin Waters. Billy Bloom also at 18 by way of an eight and a 10. A thin strike. In the one three pocket waters. Billy Bloom connects for his spare. His first in the third. 28 in the ball. For Bloom. Waters leads all bowlers in those. ACST A division. Looking at the bundle of five. A little, a little off so far. Usually keeps his uh, his object rate well over 70 percent. Just a few like that. That was a tough one. He hit, hit exactly what he was aiming for there, but uh, chopped chopped the two pin through between the five and eight. Crowd cheering on our right. Nate Lee and uh, Charlie Collins going there. Bloom in the bonus grabs five. He has the post. 
and the four horse to the left. Waters, right on the money there, on the crossover. Three six remain there. Boom, on his mark, he found a one two pocket, but uh, couldn't get the, the fourth horseman to go. First there for Waters. 34 to Ball. And a 10 for Bloom. 43 through 4 now. First ball in the fifth box coming up now for Bloom. Who leans his whole body to the right and then brings the ball in on the right hand side of the head pin. Second time in a row, he's dropped eight. This time, it's the 4-7. Waters, in the bonus, gets a little help from the left side. That's about maybe makeable. He got seven in the fill. Boom! Yep. Happy to have that. Anytime there's wood in the corner, and it's not resting adjacent like that. Oh, dang. Waters, Waters really needed that wood to move for him. You need the wood to somehow take out the 10. It wouldn't. It is object, though. And a good 10. You can do a 51. One spare and a 7 fill. Bloom will sit down with 53 in the bottom. John Blaze and John Kafalis. Again, Irby. And the squirrel, as he's known. Blaze brings it up high. Keeps his head high. Blasts that one through the three hole. It has an eagle wing rating of the one, two, four. The phallus. Both boys were open in the fifth. How about that? Spare for Blaze. That's his third. 67 in a ball. Irby looking for the 5-7. And Teddy pulls it off. The wood helped a great deal. Zoom in on that. See if I can zoom in on the scores up there. Blaze at 67. Irby at 60. Welcome if you just join us. Gonna be live all day, all week, right up until the finals when you're gonna get to see Frank DeLuca and his Alley Chat team bring you a production. Blaze five in the bonus. I'm Bob Lee, Paul Grant, also live on Candle Play Network right now. Irby takes eight. Things are looking up for Irby. That was in the bonus. Blaze just misses and almost gets love on the side ball. I think Irby can, can miss this and still make it just there, as he does. Three spares in his last four boxes. Plays for 10, 82 through 7. Irby now at 78 in the ball. Keeping pace. This is the ICC World's Singles Championship. It's an all, a day-long affair. 105 bowlers entered this morning. It's looking like the cut score, it, 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 the top 32 this morning, and hey, <laughs> Blaze breaks up an eagle and all the way down to the two pin. Irby, no, not as much luck breaking his eagle up. He, he clips a wing on it, but that's five in the fill for him. Blaze was open now. This for his fourth spare, yes. 92 in a ball through eight, he's 12 over. Irby, eight over. I'm sorry, 13 over through 7 at 83. Trying to make, probably trying for a 9 now. He's got, a, he's got the 2 and the 3. Hard to make both of those. And the 6 pin back there. Up against that wood. That's a good 9. A Pro Bowler's average is 8.3 when they, when they have a spread eagle. He had a clipped, a clipped wing spread eagle in that one. The, a spread eagle would be your uh, 
two four seven three six ten the, the two eagle wings when you clip one of the one of the uh, either the seven or the ten we call that a clipped wing eagle and when there's a talon or a sleeper blazing the bonus fit on the head pin but gets good action the head pin shot left of the two pin that's the only one that stood though that all the work was done Irby devastates nine touched everything but the five pin the king pin Blaze, who was in the bonus at 101 and 21 over now. Looking for another spare. That's five for Blaze. Was, can you say, I, I think a 120 to a 125 average is what you're going to need coming out of these in the, out of the, out of the uh, qualifiers. Josh Daly, our... Uh, The winner in last year's U.S. Invitational, which substituted for the uh, Worlds, as the Canadians were uh, homebound, has begun work down on lane 13 to our far left. Never been to Academy Lanes. There are three separate sections. John Blaze on a spare. 111 in this ball. Nice, nice job. You looked like that was going to split, but... Ball worked on the right side. That's it. 119. And how about a strike? The seven was the last pin to fall for Irby. He's at 111 through 10. And Blaze was about to be really frustrated. Hit his two pinner right where you want to. But uh, it looked <laughs> the, the front pin jumped right and came back. For the spare. He's at 120. I think he's at 129 in this ball. Irby seven on his first fill here in the tenth. He's gonna finish up and then John John's gonna take aim at his eleventh rack. Okay, a seven fill. And that should be a 118 for Irby. Not bad, not out of it. No one will be. Blaze! Oh! Missed that one. But uh, that's going to be four. And a 133. Good start for, for the squirrel. He's our leader in this foursome. Let's see Mike Nardone bowling on our right. Dom Drake just finished a 126. Looks like Aaron Fontaine, a 127 is right. Billy Bloom, who's working on a spare here on lane 30. Grabs four. That'll be a 57 half for him. Waters, who had a 51 half, had a 10 in the fifth. As ball worked there, wants that wood to go away. He's got the five and nine reigning. Bloom's wide right on his object. Waters on the two pinner. Yep, that's his second spare. Bloom for ten. He'll take eight. Let's see those scores right now. Those of you who aren't listening. Waters, sixty-one and a ball through six. Bloom, sixty-five and open. Takes aim right here. That's a, that's a four for the first ball for Bloom. Waters in the bonus. Right to left. Ball moving just a little tiny bit as he, as he rolls it down from the right side. Eight on that fill, 69. Nine over. And a great looking chance at his third spare. No! God darn it. That wood cover two. You needed to hit it flush. You got the tip in it. Somehow collapsed in front of the seven pin. Wanna do a wanna do a show on wood in the corner one of these days with uh, some pro bowlers. Let them tell you what they see. What I what I'm learning as I as, as I get on in the game. 
is that double wood is, of course, your number one bane, but you have to think of how that initial collision is going to work and how far off your ball is. Irby, uh, five pin is missing from Justin Waters. Five pin, five pin, five pin. There you go. <laughs> Irby was being a gentleman, didn't want to, didn't want to yell. <laughs> It's loud back here. I don't know how the, how the sound's coming through on the mic now. That's a reset for uh, Justin. It's the five pin. It's not properly set. He was open in the seventh, 79. Billy Bloom at 74. There it is. Decent crossover. Wood between the five and eight. The nine pin will have to go either with a collision or the ball. There he is, right on the money. Squared that kingpin off and his third spare. Bloom can't connect on the 1-9. Are you done bowling? Please press the line for the name to move. What do you do that? Two feet between the pins when you see those 1-9s uh, and 1-8s. Oh, Brian Fuller Jr. with a 173 string. How about that? What lane was he on, Anthony? Is he dead? I think he was like around 17 or 18. Yeah, maybe we'll go down and watch him in the next match, yeah. in the next game. First ball in the ninth now coming up as Billy Bloom is through the middle. Waters on the spare, seven. His triangle is fronted by the two pin. Bloom takes aim at the left side. Shoots the middle of that one. And how about that? He moves it. Oh, no. Not this. You saw the five pin shift over, I want to say, three and a half, four inches. That's, that's not. It was exactly what you happened at the King of the Hill at Putnam Street on a double that would have, would have clinched the game probably for Aaron Fontaine, who was watching over on lane 32 just to our right. Unbelievable. Tough, tough luck for Justin who takes nine. Nine drop for Bloom. He's at uh, 90 through nine. Needs that, that mark to get, get himself north of the Mason-Dixon line. There it is, spare 100 in a ball. Waters has two pins and a piece of wood to play with. Needs a helicopter. He gets it. Oh, that was super. He, he didn't even need that. He, he just hit the left side of that, and it, it was like a nunchuck. Slapped both of the pins. Both bowlers with spares. Waters at 115. Bloom at 100. Plus this ball. Gets six. A 106. And... That time he gets ahead. How about, how about eight? That's a good time to leave that split. 123. Waters. After a somewhat, for him, slow first half. Three spares on the back with good, with good fills. Eight, seven, and ten. That's our scoreboard. Let's get to those names. And I think I'm going to sign off between the matches and... Uh, Give you a chance to uh, catch up. I think Paul, Paul's been doing interviews and, and uh, live streaming. He's also live streaming on the Camelton Bowling Network, showing the standings. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a little time to gather myself and see if I can see if I can find out where Brian Fuller Jr. is after his 173. Anyway, the scores here: John Blaze with a 133, Justin Waters 123, John Kefalis Irby with a 118, Billy Bloom 106. And we'll be back in, well, just a moment. Stick around, keep it live. Hey, 
Jeff. We're live. <laughs> I hear I heard 173. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get, sneak in here. I hear uh, Brian had 173 a minute ago. Is that all right? I, I, 